So today we are going to discuss about moment of inertia. Until now we are with the different concerns regarding the moment of inertia. So let me have in detail. So the definition itself, it says in a clear manner, is an indication of the level of a force that has to be applied in order to set the object or to keep the object in motion about a defined axis of rotation. So let me describe the definition with a small example in detail. Now, the diagram it shows in a clear manner, it has an axis and moreover it has an object with a mass of a dm which has been placed with a distance of a small r. Let me apply the moment of inertia here. So let us consider the r with a very less distance. Now as it is with a less distance, then what is the force level that we need to apply to make this object to rotate about this axis? Definitely the less force itself because as the distance is very less, then the level of the force is also very less to set this object to rotate about this axis, which means that the moment of inertia was very less. For example, if the R, the distance between the mass of an object and the axis, the R was a very high, then what's the level of the force that we require to set this object to rotate about this axis? Definitely it was a very high itself. Because as the distance is very high, then the level of the force is also should be high to make this object, in the sense to set this object a motion above this prescribed axis. So the moment of inertia was very high. So finally, the moment of inertia says very clearly, it's the, the level of a force to make the objects to rotate above a final axis. For example, let, let me make in detail with this small example here. So now if you observe, where well, this was a, a diver making of a somersaults. So we have a different faces here. If you observe, the very first is, so the diver is ready to move from the board. So he says that now he is in an angular momentum. So what do you mean by the angular momentum? So angular momentum plays a, a major role to describe about the moment of inertia. Let me describe the angular momentum initially. So the angular momentum, it says very clearly, is a measure of the amount of rotation of that object when no external torques are acting upon it. So finally, it discusses very clearly, it's the amount of rotation of the object when no external torques are acting upon it. So let, let me get to the figure now. So now, so he doesn't have any more external forces, external torques to make of a, a rotation. So that what it means that uh, here in an uh, angular momentum. So basically the angular momentum is a conserved quantity. So in the sense, so if you are not in uh, any external forces, so by default, the object will be in an uh, angular momentum. So now what the formula of an angular momentum? So the angular momentum is nothing but L is equal to I into omega, where I is nothing but the moment of inertia, where omega is nothing but the angular velocity. So the angular momentum is a product of moment of inertia and the angular velocity. In the sense, it was a vice versa. If the moment of inertia increases, the angular velocity starts decreases. If the angular velocity increases, then the moment of inertia starts decreases. Where these two is in a, a vice versa concern. So let me describe now with the help of an example. So now, in the first stage, when he ready to move from the board, so where he need to get in the pike position, where we call this as a pike position. So if you observe the difference between these two figures, so in the first figure, the diver, were, the arms has been stretched away. So, but if you observe in the second figure, the arms has been get closer to the object in the sense where he was ready to make of a somersault. If you observe the difference between these two figures, so as the arms are stretched away, so where the object is lying with a very high distance, with a prescribed axis to make of a rotation. In the sense, the moment of inertia was a very high here. So if you observe here, so as the every part has come closer to the object, so he was ready to make of an, a somersault in the sense, so the moment of inertia was a very less. In the sense, the force is very less because where all the parts has come closer towards a particular axis to make of a rotation. Now what it means that, so if you observe the angular momentum here, so whenever the moment of inertia was a very less, then the angular velocity will start increases the same thing will happen here so when the objects when the parts of an object come closer so the moment of inertia the force was a very less in the sense he was ready to make of an somersault which means that he 
can do as much the rotations because the angular velocity here was a very high so after coming here so if you get this particular third figure again he was coming to the original position he was getting back the arms towards the original position itself which means that again the moment of inertia it start increases so as the moment of inertia increases then definitely so the angular velocity will start decreases so that what the figure shows very clearly so this was a procedure what the divers do when he need to make of a so much also in the sense when he need to make of a angular velocity of a particular axis then definitely all the parts has to come closure if all the parts has come closure then definitely the moment of inertia was a very less if the moment of inertia was a less then definitely the angular velocity starts increases so he has a tendency to make of a much more so much salts in the air itself so finally he get back to his original position in the sense he releases his arms the arms will be stretched out so where the moment of inertia increases when the moment of inertia increases the angular velocity decreases so he can't make much more somersaults so now he returned to back to the original position so finally the arms has been fully stressed and he was getting to the water so when the arms has been stressed away so the moment of inertia was a very high so when the moment of inertia was a very high so he can get into the water with a minimum splash so that's the reason why the moment of inertia was an important in all the concerns thank you